What was I thinking? How could I say those things? I need to text them. No, not after the things I said. I'll just call. Your call has been for... A text? From Boulders? That's cold. Did you hear about the Kickstarter? What can I say? I love boulders and I'm giving them a second chance. A couple weeks ago, I did a video where I talked about how I was getting rid of the boulders. I would not be using them as much as I normally do in my day-to-day -day usage of deck boxes. It basically came down to boulders not having the functionality that I have come to rely on when I go to a local game store. Functionality like dice trays or being able to hold more than one deck or being large enough to basically be an entire draft kit, I had felt I had evolved beyond boulders. A subscriber of mine on a comment of that video asked about the boulder and tray and if I had ever heard of it. Well, I hadn't. One very quick purchase later and the next day, I had one in my possession. This is the boulder and tray. This is a fairly new product that Ultimate Guard has released. I couldn't find an exact release date of this, but the one that I got still has first wave on it. And it seems that the regular run of Boulder and Trays will be released in July. So they actually are already doing pre-orders for them. You can get the pre-orders on Miniature Market, but if you want a first wave one, you can pick those up on Amazon. It is basically a Boulder 100 Plus with a dice tray attached to the bottom of it. That's it. Now I say that's it like that's it, but that doesn't mean that I don't like it. And that doesn't mean that it isn't awesome because this is the perfect balance. It gives me everything this gives me, the Ultra Pro Alcove, but it gives it to me in a boulder. Real quick, the stats on this, it's basically, like I said, a boulder 100 plus. It can hold 100 double sleeved cards. It can hold 120 single sleeved cards. As of right now, this is the only size they have of this, though I do not think that they are going to do different sizes. I don't think they're going to do like an 80 plus version of this or anything like that because this seems to be a good form factor, good sizing for this type of product. The dice tray is surprisingly deep, but in fact, and I'm going to try not to make this rattle too much, you can fit the larger D20s that they've been releasing with the bundles recently in here and it fits fully and you can fit a ton of other dice. That's something that I've noticed in other dice trays. Here is the alcove dice tray. As you can see, the dice sits well above the top of the tray. This can't fit into the alcove. The boulder and tray fits it fine. You'll notice that the bottom of the deck box itself is recessed for the tray to snap in. That's pretty much the explanation of this thing. There's really not a lot going on with it, but I wanted to cover the things I really like about it. Now, what I like about this is this does give you what an alcove gives you. And as I showed you, it even kind of beats out the alcove and the fact that you can fit a lot of dice in this tray. But the big part of it is you get that, but you get it in a boulder. So you get the simplicity of a boulder and you get the strength of a boulder. It's it's a boulder with benefits. I love it. Like it is excellent, but it's me and I'm in a nitpick where I talk about the real nitpick of this that I have, which is it's the same size as a boulder 100 plus. For anybody who has used a boulder 100 plus, one of the biggest complaints about the Boulder 100 Plus is that a double sleeved commander deck will fit, but nothing else will. I confirmed that my double sleeved commander deck fits in this but nothing else is fitting in this. It was hard to get it in and shut the boulder and it was hard to get it out. So I still am probably not going to use this for commander decks. I will probably use this for my modern deck or legacy deck, any 60 card format with a sideboard. That's what I'm gonna use this for. Other than that, this is an awesome product. I think it's great 
that Ultimate Guard is thinking about these things and is trying to make innovations like this, especially with companies like Gamegenic who are innovating products like crazy. Ultimate Guard has done a very good job this year trying to improve their existing line, which I think is fantastic. I am curious, since this isn't any bigger than a 100 plus, I wonder if we're gonna get a bolder 133 plus. That'd be kind of awesome. So I did have one other thing before I let you go, and I do ask that you stick around. This is, this is kind of important. Recently, a buddy let me know that he is doing a fundraiser for Alzheimer's research. As someone who has been personally affected by Alzheimer's, I was all about helping him out. And what is really awesome about what he's doing is he is doing this for the Longest Day, which is a fundraising drive that the Alzheimer's Association does every year. It's done on June 21st, the longest day of the year. It's to raise awareness about Alzheimer's research and to try to drive some donations to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. And what my buddy Derby is doing is he is doing something called Gathering for a Cause. He's setting up a table at our local game store and he's going to play Magic all day from the time the store opens until it closes. And for every game of Magic he plays, he will donate donate $5 to the Alzheimer's Association. And he has a goal of $1,600. When he told me about this, I said, I'm in. I'm gonna be sitting next to him playing games as well, donating $5 for every game of Magic I play to the Alzheimer's Association. We recognize that that would be a lot of Magic games to get to the $1,600 goal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to the donation page. It is on the Longest Day official Alzheimer's Association website. So you can go there and make a donation if you are in the area. This is in Central Virginia. It's going to be the End Games in Charlottesville, Virginia. Again, this is on June 21st. You can come on down and play some games with us. But if you're not in the area and you want to help out, you can click on the link in the description down below and make a donation. We would really appreciate it. And I've got to give a lot of credit to my buddy Derby for coming up with this and setting it up as a fun way for us to make some money for a really good cause. So thank you for sticking with me and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Oh, and uh, click on that too. That be great or the link down there and that click on both this show is part of the cip network inspiring creativity one episode at a time